all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. Come here. Let's turn him into a target practice. Out go! Another Berserker Gravestone. You know what, I'm going to save that for later. I think it would be fun to do more than one at a time. Kind of like a collage of all the times I die. <laughs> Oh, this is the sun. Speak, spirit. Is that... Father. I can't see you. I wasn't quick enough. I'm so sorry I abandoned you. Your father is dead. What? How? He went to find the other half of the treasure without you. He must have been killed trying. It seems that in your efforts to protect one another, you each came to one of these islands on your own. And... I've been such a fool. Aww. But thank you, Mickey, for telling me. Perhaps now we can see each other again. That's a bit bittersweet, isn't How it? How did you know? What? That the son was dead. The boy abandoned his father. In their attempt to spare the other, they both perished. What now? Hey! We will retrieve the treasure, then return to the father. What for? To finish what he and his son started. Seems like that water wheel should be powered by. Oh, that's something. awfully nice of Kratos. Yeah. Hmm. There's an eye of Odin. Let me get this. <laughs> hmm. I see you. Perfect. Oh man, I think we're gonna get into a fight here. That looks like a a fight arena. If I ever saw one. Hey, there's something up on that island. See that? Perhaps the treasure the spirit spoke of. Oh, really? It's right here? That's close. Can't get on the lift with that geyser going. Stop squirming. Stop squirming. You did it, Master Kratos! Lindworm. A spectacular job! That's what they're Keep called. Keep it up and you'll become an expert in no time. Like, I forgot can't tell what if this he was, was patronizing or if that was just plain sad. Both. Both. 
say. So we need to get that crate out somehow. Didn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Let's look around more. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't right. Let's go look around. This looks promising. Wait, what did that do? Ah, it brought that down. It's lower, but how do we keep it that way? Hmm. I think we use the axe <laughs> on the wheel. But this rock is in the way. Now what do we do? You guys see anything else I'm missing? Let's look around some more. I don't think... Oh, Wait, here you go. Look, there's a gear connected to the gate. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Smells awful. Oh, there's a dead body. That's probably it. Okay. Okay. Nice. Did it? A piece of the broken amulet can be used to allow amulets to pull additional enchantments. I see why it meant so much to our lost treasure seekers. Perhaps we should go tell the father what became of his son. 
Return to the Father Spirit. Got it. I almost forgot the raven. There we go. Now we got it. 26 ravens. Then we'll get the loot. Noise, noise. Mimir, Odin's mask. How do you hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Hmm. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's just probably, but it also probably does. It does glow. Anyway, hang on guys. Let's turn around and finish that one favor in Yuriad's Fence Rig. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? Mm. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically... In okay, one sec, Mamir, before I do that. Let's make sure we're going the right way. So we're going to go here. We're going to get to the other side. Correct interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. Mm. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical? Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. Eee. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. So basically All the witches lied. to a subtly deceptive prophecy. Mm, deceptive. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Yeah, he should have a book. Like, I would buy that just as a collector's edition. Not collector's edition, but just as a collector of God of War or a fan of God of War, I would want to keep that. Just to see how he writes. Okay, let's get up. Let's get up. Here we go. You're back. We have news of your son. Oh, How come please. he can see us, but the son Tell couldn't? Me. He went to find the other treasure with the same idea you had. He didn't make it. I'm sorry. No, no, no. This is my fault. He disobeyed your wishes. Yes, because that is what sons do. I should have brought him with me. That is what sons do. Rich beyond all reason. Together. Well, maybe you can at least be together now. Nevertheless, thank you for finding him. I'll seek him out in Helheim. 
How come I feel like this the, this father is so, mansplaining or explaining parenting son more, to huh? people? Interpret their misfortune how you Without wish. them asking. I'm glad they're at peace at least. Yes. Nice. Okay, so there was sh there was something shiny down here. Did I miss or go get it? Guardian in God. Damn it, you guys, I can be sought into the. Oh, okay. Hi, wait, let's check the map. I think we're forgetting something. Okay, yep. There's a rift upstairs. He's probably saying off your back because he's at our butt and his we're squishing his face with the mirror. Okay, this is one more time. <laughs> Morbid one. That's the most gory death finisher. Because we were ripping out their chests, if you think about it. That's something. Huh. This place is kind of pretty. 
when things aren't trying to kill us. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, just look at the sky. It's a perfect day. Okay. Alright, so we did a lot of exploring and found nothing. So I'll probably cut some of that out, but right now we're going back to the final raven that I missed somewhere here, according to the map. I love how they show us where the loot is. Because it makes me less dizzy, because I hate it when I'm looking for the loot or I'm looking for something in the map and I keep going around and around and around. Where does it stop? Nobody knows. <laughs> this guy. Oh wow, you didn't hear that? He is not slowing down. Okay. Oh. I see the raven by the way. It's right there. They fall and right like with the bergs or bergs res berg grass bergs shucks i can never pronounce any of the beast's names right that oh. is this with that, i wonder if we shouldn't check back on the raven tree bergs rass there we go anyway nice we got it so brothers how did you manage to kill garm anyway we killed him a few times actually but it didn't take. And I figured Good. maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. <laughs> so I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon? Fenrir, remember the light father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I figured that out, I just put Fenrir into Garm. <laughs> Clever one, lad. A gigantic hell beast with the soul of a loyal pup. What, Dave? Brilliant! <laughs> I love Mimir's voice. See, like, he has the sound of, like, an uncle who is always so supportive of you. Like, I, that's the best way I could describe it. He sounds like your favorite uncle. That's it. He needs to be like that. Like, Tito, I miss you! Tito is uncle in Tagalog. Here we go. You again. Right. I hope you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We <laughs> have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. Oh, Mir. I forgive you. Thanks. It's okay. <sighs> Might not mean much with Odin's goon stopping the city. Not Dublin. The folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. Nice, nice. 
Nice. <sighs> Never expected to see this thing again. Hmm. Repeated long range one slices of sky. Man, I love Kratos. I think I like the mountain splitter. Let's equip this one. Derwin. Kratos! <laughs> Sorry about earlier. Talking about you off like that. Do not be. No! Let me apologize. Feeling the old father's spear in your back makes a man want to set things right. Your silence on the matter is enough. Well, if you say so. I'm hearing something. Where is that sound coming from? Is that... Is that just part of the map? Oh! There's an enemy over here. Wait. These guys are here? in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. Huh. Man, we dropped off her leg. Wait, can we destroy that? Let's try going around. Can we jump here? No, we cannot jump here. Anything here? No, nothing. Oh, there we go. I see something over there. Flower here. I think that's Sparkthorn. Sparkthorn. Flowers, like in Plague Tale. That's so cute. Okay. Can we destroy this so we can just walk? <laughs> no, we cannot. Let's go see if Sindri is still there. Oh, I can hear metals! Oh, shocks. Big guy up ahead. And... A couple of his helpers. Like, three of them. It's Let's amazing. Go. After all my time away, there's nothing I missed about this <laughs>
Pretty color though, I just have to say. Okay. Nice, 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 we got it. <laughs> oh, sorry, bad word, but what the heck? That he just kept going at it. Oh, and that finisher is confidence gonna use my rose magic to switch his for a spear. Capable of fast moving charging attack. Oh yeah, we saw that. Weapon switching this way is fast, so you'll have to keep watch as they catch up their attack. Change up. Okay, I like that. Let's get all the health stones that we can get. Dude, I really like the color of the Bifrost attack though. It's just such a beautiful lilac bluish purple color. It's so pretty. Why are any more about shortages? I knew I need barrel of oil, five ingots. Oh yeah, goddamn food to goddamn eat. <laughs> that's that's um okay, I get that. After I mean, currently watching Game of Thrones, and I understand how food more than materialistic possessions can be so much more important. Man, come to think of it, if I live during a time with no internet, social me oh, there's a there's a crow. Let's get the crow. Go! Nice, nice. We got it. Perfection. Oh wait, I think it's here. Okay. Let me just angle myself. <laughs> nice. Man, Kratos can be a gymnast. A gymnast. A <laughs> gymnastic. Kratos can be a gymnast if he wants to. That's the proper term for them, right? A gymnast. Find the location. How deep? Oh, we were already here. Like earlier in the game. Wait, let's see if we get 100% of this area already. Nice! I think this legendary chest is the last thing. This is it, Pansit. This is it, Pansit! <laughs> Uh, Noise. Lungs. Stop all oh, that rubbish. What? Rock's bloody riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? <laughs> Wait, Can't lamb. let that blue twat beat me. If you are this upset, he already has. <laughs> Kratos, he's got a sense of humor, I see. All right, guys. Now let's go back to Alfheim and finish up the favor there. Let's get this. Man, I wish I could get more rage. You again? You know you're the reason Odin's thugs are marching around the city. Well, we'll clear them out as we run into them. Whoa, whoa! How about we just take that outside? This is a peace-loving establishment. Oh, <laughs> really? Because you don't Spoken seem very resistance. peaceful towards me. Instead. You drink. Oh, I've got plans that you know nothing about. Ah, uh, okay. Coming together as we speak. Meantime, I don't plan on my soul parts floating to Alfheim Stone Cold sober. When the Aesir run me through, I'd rather be too hammered to feel it. Die. That's actually a thing, though. You are staring. You're a tough man not to stare at. <laughs> if the dwarves had your strength, Odin would have never gotten as far with this place as he did. My strength has little to do with my body. Mm, yeah. We know that. Sure. It's true, though. Derlin. Are you to thank for the newfound fresh air sliding up our nostrils? We turned off the mining rigs. So you did. 
Let's mm. pretend you did so in a manner consistent with the 97 part safety regulations handbook written specifically for the operation, maintenance and deactivation of said mining equipment. Do what you will. Yeah. Let's pretend. Thanks anyway. Means a lot. <laughs> I understand why everyone's so grumpy though. Like, I think they've just been through so much with Odin. You know what? I just realized, what if they make a remake of all of the older God of War games? Like, I, I would buy them. <gasps> all of them. Like, in this format, God of War 1, 2, COO, Chains of Ascension. Oh, Chains of Olympus. Wait. Okay, so we have to go up here. This is the favor that we have to go to. <sighs> Mimir, how did they capture Garmin in the first place? That was Tears doing. He lured the beast somewhere safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once uh. the chains were on and the gate to Elheim was open, Garm bit Tears' arm clean off in retribution. But Tears not missing Poor an arm. arm. Well, it grew back. Eventually, he is a very resourceful god after all. How can it just grow back? That's so. Okay. Anyway. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half guffa. Half guffa. Half guffa. <laughs> I keep calling them half guvra. Half guffa. Did the lighthouse put this lock here? Why would they care what happens in the barn? When we were in Vanaheim. Big Bear and Bela spoke of this place. They said it was forbidden. Went on about uncovering some secret history. Ooh. Secret history? Sounds like your kind of adventure. Aye, that's what I said. <laughs> Another storm awaits. Yeah, but at least now we know how to end it. Yeah, it's gonna be easier this time around. So, once we free both Hakufas and end all the storms, then what? Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half The scars of conflict are woven into the very fabric of the realm. I have to believe, in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. But, well, what's your father always saying in this situation? Keep your expectations low, and you'll never be disappointed. Wise words. Yeah! <laughs> Kratos just complimented himself. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. We gotta find the right cave. Where do we have to go? Song of the Sand started. Got it, got it. What are these? Oh! Oh, they just followed me! <laughs> so loyal, I love it. Okay. <gasps> Where are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? Seems like the right path. Oh, what are those? Oh, they're like well, lizard things, but they're... But I'm glad we're doing this. The sandstorm just feels... wrong for Alpha. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Now, once we free this other half, Koopa, it'll be a duet. I was about to say ah. that! Well, no, I was about to say duo. Not duet. I actually totally forgot what the word duet. Place? It doesn't duo. look like a dark elf cave. An abandoned ancient settlement by the looks of it. 
Built long before the light wells creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. down here. Here's the kit. This was where Atreus was looking at. Ew. Get some of this Ew. hive stuff. Doesn't like sound. Yeah. Still thinking about it. A remake of all the original games, the original God of War. One, two, three, Chains of Olympus, Ascension. Mm. The mirror. So good. The last time we were in Alphine, this high stuff was all over the realm. Look unnatural. It was the light out of everything. Even the light itself. It looked that way because you're not from this realm, lad. To the Dark Elves, a hive is more natural than that faultless, lily white column in the center of the well. Just mm. look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half giver for that matter. <laughs> you have a point. I'd that like is... to believe I always do. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Oh. Noise. Not sure why that works, but I'm glad it does. Yeah, I mean, if it works, it works. That's what the gameplay is asking us to do. Shocks. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, father! The wee bastard's about to explode! They smell awful. <laughs> Is that sound? Oh, it's these guys. Oh, 
What are the light elves doing down here? Isn't this dark elf territory? Territory changes hands often in that time. Also, it appears. Mm -hmm. Big Theor did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the light elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Oops. <laughs> Oops. I suspect the corpse below would disagree. Say sacrifice. No sacrifice in vain. A corpse. <laughs> yeah, Mimir's right. A corpse stayed below this one. I wonder if the poor soul wrote it before expiring or if it was written by the person who did it. Sad. Oh, wait, no. I think it's just part of the body. Oh my god, uh, looking at the circles is making me feel queasy. Like, the lotus... I remember the lotus trend when I was a kid. Ugh. Mmm. Scarred my brain. Anyway, how did we get that chest? Oh wait, here we go. Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? Wait, there's more. Yeah, fuck! 
Goofus free. Are they gonna be able to uh, make more? <laughs> Almost certainly. A bittersweet spectacle, considering the cost. Why? The cost. Aye. The adults like babies as they pass it on to their offspring. Hold on. Are you saying they have to die to have kids? They don't have to, but the more light they give, the higher the chance of their offspring's survival. What? Man, that's. Wow. It is what parents do. Really? All parents are supposed to die for their children? It is what I would do. Oh, Kratos! Wait, um, can we kill this? He's not hiding. <laughs> mm, okay. That would have been too easy. Kind of feel bad for them, though. That. Because they sound like a dog, but more than that, it's kind of like they're just minding their own business. Okay, can we get back here? How do we get back there? Hmm. Okay, we gotta get up there somehow. And then maybe we can... Get the slug dog. The slug dog. I'm kind. I'm calling them the slug dog. Cause they sound like a dog. Okay. We need to clear that somehow. <laughs> Maybe we climb up this wall first. Then we'll get a better angle. Oh, here we go. Yeah. There's a chest there as well, so... Here we go. Here we go. Got it. Right? Doesn't don't they sound like a dog? They even bark like one. I think we'll know the name when once we kill it. There's just so many names in this game, and as it is, even in real life, I'm bad at remembering people's names. I do this thing where I try to link someone's name to something that I would definitely remember. Like for example, my sister's partner's name is Shine, so I would always think Shine like. That's how I remembered her name. Like, shine, shine bright like a diamond. Rihanna, I like Rihanna, I use Fenty. Ooh, let's try this. Nice, nice. And we didn't even get to see the name. <sighs> Your death will not be in vain, though. I got some good stuff from you. Man, you know, no, being who I am right now, I probably wouldn't live back in the very, very, very old days of having to hunt for your food because I feel way too bad having to kill oh wait you have to go here. I feel way too bad having to kill animals to eat. I'd probably be easily be vegan.
Well, we have a lot of... There it is. Guess it's time to free us. You don't seem particularly happy about the plot. We're freeing them only for them to die. It doesn't seem fair. Mm. Life seldom is. But their sacrifice will allow their children to thrive. So they will die contented. <laughs> what? They will still die? I hadn't thought about it like that. I just... If I were one of the children, I wouldn't want them to. Yeah! Know, son. But it is the only choice they can make. Man. Yappa! Nice. That nice. loosened it up a bit. How do I get this one? Oh wait, it is it. That did not do it. Maybe I have the anger. Okay, that didn't do it. Let's try the other side first. Let's do that one more time. A pipe. A what? It's a uh, for relaxation. A pipe. You burn leaves and breathe the smoke. <laughs> what? Oh. Can I use it? No. no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so basically, us three are the parents of Atreus now. Shockwave attack that sends enemies back. Ooh. 
Okay, see? What happened if I level it up? Damage point, damage point. Hmm. Okay, let's just... Let's save that for later. I kind of want to... I'm used to the ones that I are currently have equipped. The fate of these creatures reminds me of a story. Yeah? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. Pandora's box! But no metal could hold such power. So the blacksmith used the flame. Love it. Please. Oh okay. my god, that's God of War 2. Okay. You don't have to. Look, I know I get sad about this kind of stuff, but it doesn't mean I won't be okay, you know? Yeah. Hmm. So, what happened with the blacksmith? Atreus is so much sure I love was him. the key to unlocking the box. He died, trying to protect her from those who would open it. You're not gonna have to do that for me. I know. But I would. Why is Kratos such a dad? I love it. Well, he is a dad, but I meant like he's just so paternal and. Well, at least compared to the first game, God of War 2018, he's so much more talkative now. I'd say he's starting to loosen up around Atreus. That's for sure. Too weak after the axe. Wait, this is the right one. There we go. That's nice. You know what I just realized? How does Atreus... Nice. That's so satisfying. How does Atreus get sucked in by his bow and rope to where he has to go? Right? Anyway, let's just climb up. It appears we've overstayed Oops. our welcome Oops. in our pipe. Yet again. Go cut it free. Wait, is this where we're supposed to go? That's really just leading me the wrong way, I think. Yeah, he is, because we already did that. <laughs> Let's climb up to the surface. have to get pregnant first, right? So at least you won't have to see that. Oh wait, there's an eye. Oh, There we 
we go, finally. This one's all yours, brother. Oh, are you know they what? doing it? Never mind. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Look at that. Oh, they're doing it like how a snake does it. Wow. Song of the Sands. <gasps> well, oh, what in the world? Get misty. Why? It's beautiful. Are those the babies already? They look like... Um, they look like spoons. Thanks, Father, for doing all this. I know it doesn't solve everything, but it feels like we helped. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Is this... That was so... Oh, no! Oh, no. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barracks? Parents balance. literally gave their life for a chance for their kids to live. <laughs> Just like Kratos would do. Those look like sperm. Look at that. Right? And it's like a million sperms in the sky. Oop, there's an Eye of Odin there. Man, the, the half kappa looks so majestic though when they... Wait a minute. I just thought of something, but first let me get this. <laughs> nice, we got it. That's a weird place for a lighthouse statue, isn't it? On top of ancient elven ruins? I'd have to agree. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Let's do this. Let's go up here. <laughs> ah, another of Cavassier's poems. Poems. Uh, poem of quiet melancholy by the poet Cavassier. Alone yet together, close yet apart. Our long scarves a tether, cooperation and art. Hmm. Speak without word, quest through the land, glide like a bird. Okay, so this is basically going to be a game that has no dialogue. But I don't think I've played this game. So I don't know. Because it says speak no words. I'm guessing it's one of those games where you don't really hear any dialogue between the characters. Oh my god. <laughs> Nice, nice. 
Okay. The spring. Now's our chance. The springs. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. Stop. Nice, nice. Oh my god, how are we gonna have time here? Come on. 
Done. Keep on it. Phantoms because of like design wise, I think they're the most. I well, actually, a lot of the bosses are very majestic looking, but there's just something so simple yet so mesmerizing about a phantom. No, okay, wait, let me make sure. Okay, we have to burn that. Yeah. Oh. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite boss is so far or mini boss in God of War is. I actually love a lot of the bosses in God of War now that I think about it. Okay, no, let me... oh, I can't reach it. One more here. Then there's still there's still this one right here. Yeah, that didn't do it. Mm -mm. an angle from up here. There we go. Nice. Got it. upset he already has you already said that though kratos come on we need something new so true clues about elven history that we can do All these books, an archive oh, of knowledge. This is our Don't library. Light elves around. For now, maybe they've left for the day, and we can browse at our leisure. These are scrolls, not books. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Atreus. He was just looking at the table and he didn't flinch. Oh, what's this? Look here. Rules of the Sanctum. All visitors must observe strict silence inside the library, even the best of the passageway. Around home doesn't get the circle. No books are given to the premises for any reason other penalty of death. 
prophecy forbidden. Damage to library materials due to carelessness, even accidental, will not be tolerated. Comestible libations and liquids of any kind are forbidden. Visitors must check in with the present librarian before leaving. Failure to adhere to the rules will result. I love it. This is their rules for the library. <laughs> But what are comestibles and libations? I feel like I have to Google that. Is that... Yeah, of course it's English. The new word. Comestibles and libations. My guess are food and drinks. Mm. Mm. This evening, I find myself musing on the scent of a book. When the paper is fresh, it carries the gentle notes of the plant it came from. Live flora and touch of sweetness. <gasps> Grape under glow tan. Scent hardens, crisp at the beginning, moving into the earthy musk left behind from the des desert air and insect feast. Wow, this man loves his books and the smell of books. Much knowledge for elven histories. Is this venture foolish? I can see the fleeting nature of existence, be it a flesh or skull, yet I would not trade the pleasure of putting ink to page for all treasures of Alfheim. Oh, I think this guy is a writer. More than anything. These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War. But restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Yeah. Why would anyone do that? Many prefer violence than to be challenged by the truth. Hmm. Dictators. <laughs> <laughs> Find the location. Ah. A piece of the broken amulet of Yggdrasil can be used to allow the amulet to hold additional enchantments. This book is sealed, but there is an inscription. The consul. Big Bear spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. Open Sanctum, keep this one. Ooh, okay. Oh, we can go back to Svartalheim. Wait, was it Svartalheim? And then we can give it to Big Fear. Looks like the ancient elves wrote a lot. And none of the light or dark elves have seen any of this? Seems like stuff they'd want to read. Oh, yeah, for sure. We are the caretakers of truth, the arbiters of knowledge, protectors of this repository. Back to our earliest writings, ancient. It is our sacred duty to protect our elven learners and prevent the possible spread of it to those who cannot reconcile the wisdom found within these walls. Oh, really? That's the one way of putting it. They lack the intellectual fortitude and accept the divisive nature. Okay, so basically they're saying that people are stupid. Let's go try this mercy. It is mercy, though. Ulul. Ulul! <laughs> Wow, look at that. one of Diwali's diagrams. That looks so pretty. You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves. So he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. <gasps> and what of him? Well, the All Father found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. Aw, man. Did the All Father kill him? You know what? If they wanted to, for the entire theme of God of War, they could make it like... If they made it into a series, they could make it like Game of Thrones style. I'm only two and a half seasons in, so three. Season three. But just with how gory it is. Or... How should I say it? Like the torture system back then. That could... That's how they could do it. It's cool, eh? Okay. Okay, I think we got everything. Surprised there aren't any enemies. I was expecting like an ambush or a boss fight because look at this map. It's the map, it's a map for a boss fight. Especially with the tables. Like the big boss can just kill it. <laughs> can just kill it, can just destroy them. Oh. Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Oh, I spoke too soon. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Mm. Oh, oh, 
Wait, sorry. Oh, oh shit, sorry. Sorry, Kratos. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's just restart. There she is. At least we got all her attacks now. You know what? Let me change my runic attack and we'll take advantage of the armor perks as well. Okay. Just change the runic attack. There we go. Okay, come at me. knowledge away our ally wishes to read this journal we are taking the book oh he didn't kill her 
I think she respects us now. Respect. Real recognizes real. Okay, I think she's scared that we're gonna stab her in the back. <laughs> she's so badass though, I like her. Okay, this was the wrong <laughs> Son of the librarian. That? What's well, she hiding again? She it matters not. The journal is ours. The work is done. Okay, I was really done with that. Didn't think it was gonna end that way. Same! Last I thought we were gonna kill her. When the Dark Elf King attacked us, the ramifications were dire for his people. We will not make the same mistake twice. Mm. Oh look! It seems like they got bigger all of a sudden. The half Gufra have uh, have a bigger head now. Vision Seward of an Alpheim or ally in Vanaheim told me this steward comes from a long line of elves who follow the same path. It's from within the Salakbait and the people who would most benefit from it. Mm. True. Truly. Truly. Okay. <sighs> Oh, what's that? Oh, there's an eye <laughs> in there. Just get this one. their own to protect their secrets that's harsh wow it is their way but perhaps with the consul's journal big Vir can teach them otherwise that is yeah what mimir said harsh okay, how do we do this probably not there oh no. That's really cool. A win is a win. I didn't think I would get it the first time. Sigil arrows. Okay. Let's do this one first because it's the most simple. It's the simplest one. Oh, there we go. That was quick. Last one. Okay, let's try this one more time. <sighs> I 
Alcum. Nice. We got it. Finally. Hey. Yay. Loot. These are actually my favorite chests to open up because they're so satisfying. They make you work for it. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's go up. Let's get out of here. Mimir, if I met someone I like, how would I know if they, uh, like me too? Is hmm? there someone? I. Wait, but which no. one though? I was just curious. Actually, doesn't matter. It's. doesn't matter. Woo! Oh man, and there's two of them. I mean, it's not like he can talk about the other one. He can only talk about food. But is it food? I'm not forgetting any loot. What is the big door? Chapman of Elton Creation that can be seen. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing we can interact with this door because Atreus said, whoa, big door. Oh, and we can. Locked. Oh, and it's locked. <laughs> it requires two keys. Hmm. I wonder what's behind it. That's the beauty of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. Knowing our luck, it'll be a bit of both. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like, we'll get the loot after we beat the boss. Oh, here we go. Is this gonna be a lindworm or... Looks Ooh. like Freyr's carved into it. Maybe it's for good luck. Or for use Ooh. in prayer. Freyr's in it? So we're going to be looking for crafted by him for those elves who supported the young god in his attempts to find new keys at the height of Freya's popularity. These tokens adorned more. Oh. Wow, imagine being that idolized, right? Something. 
couple of Freyr's tributes, I'd wager. Could fetch a hefty sum with our dwarven shopkeeps. Hmm. I also like that very last sentence about hope. How too much of it could be dangerous, but just right. But everyone kind of needs it. At least that's how I understood. Um, that's how I understood it. Anyway, Lindworm, come on. Oh, oh I am not. Oh, oh. Come on, Kratos. Off your back. What in the world? Crunching of the neck. Crunchy neck. Okay, let's get the loot. Am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah, it was great. Hmm. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day. Through it, but she uh, deserves to be. I think I said Thor. Of course, Thrawd. I told her all about the Valkyries we faced. But I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Mm. Someone will learn the truth in the hardest way. Mm. Why can't I relate? <laughs> what in the world, God of War? I love it when video games do that. Like, they expose us to themes which would otherwise be too They'll uncomfortable for some people to talk about. Ooh. Well, that's yeah. another episode. We're gonna let them pile up. Yeah, we won't do that now. But there is loot in this cave, so let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so we just... Here. Gonna be here. Oh! Right 
Nice, 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 nice. Guys. Okay, so I think we have to burn this one first. Alcohol. There we go. Oops, one more. Can never be melted again. Ooh. Perion grapple and Hyperion pull do extra damage and stun. Okay. Spinning chaos and invasive embers. Great skills. Huh. Let's equip it. Let's check it out. That didn't work because I mean it worked, but, but we don't need that anymore. So let's try something new. Way too much time there than I should have. <coughs> nice. Okay. Now, time to go to the other part of the map. <coughs> Another sleeping beast, the handiwork of Alvi Stonefoot. Alvi Stonefoot. Snare Alfheim, not slumber 43. Oh, while imprisoning it. Wow, there's a lot of people dead. Now, like about as a troll rehabilitation, it's possible for you to use arousing relic. If you're desperate to get your skull caved in, Alvi Stonefoot, Spartelheim, otherwise known as he who is running out of mages. <laughs> Evan. He sounds like me though. I sound like that's what I would sound like if I'm getting tired of doing the same thing over and over again. Hmm. 
nothing here any oh that's him so what uh it's you who you meant when you asked about biking rude no i mean i wasn't asking about anyone specific ah um, well skilder likes through but she's only interested in becoming a valkyrie she's focused you know oh very well lad very well just hope you know if you ever need to review anything we've discussed uh... <laughs> i know it's good i'm fine yeah, it's not through it. I think he's just... It's, he wants to ask about... Um... The other giant, whose name I forgot. Like, oh, this is a heart. Look at that. Speaking of liking someone, we found a place with a heart. Oh, here we go. Let's light this up. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, I don't think um, Atreus was asking about fruit. Now that I think about it, why does the the sky looks like a sperm sky? That's a sperm sky. But also, it looks very beautiful the way it glows. It's like glow in the dark um, fireflies. Pretty. Anyway, okay, wait. We found one more right over here. Welcome. Nice. Oh, oh, nice. It's already here. You didn't have to look that hard. Okay, got that. Anyway, as I was talking about again, Atreus, he was talking about um, the other girl, the giant, but I feel like he couldn't talk about her because remember, she oh. asked that she made him promise not to talk about her. Let's go get this. Let's go get the chest. This is gonna be a mead one because we got an apple. Straight and back. Straight and back. Asgard, I saw Odin do something to some new Einherjar. It seemed kind of mindless until he cast a spell that restored their identity. Aye, mm. that was his habit, even when they were confined to Valhalla. I think letting them remember themselves was another small way of becoming death any way he could. Though I wouldn't mm. be surprised if with that small gift of autonomy, he also embeds an undying personal loyalty to himself. Yeah, pretty, pretty sure. Odin is... he's something. He's... He's basically not a person I would want to be friends or associate with. He seems very manipulative. Hmm... Where did he go? Ooh, this is new. Is that Freyr? Indeed it is. Wow. Big statue. Big statue. Big door. Big statue. That's odd. The runes are dark. Oh. Why would the elves build a giant statue of Freyr? Didn't they just go back to fighting each other after he left? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together. Light and dark. Which means Why this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace. But perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. Hmm. That's promising. Yeah, that's nice. Seems... Okay, what do I do with this? Do I press a button or... Hmm. Okay, that doesn't work. But I don't see any of the purple crystal. 
where we could throw our app. Oh wait, that'd be this one. Okay. This statue may have survived okay. Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. Hmm. Couldn't he have just, I don't know, cast a spell or something? Made things better permanently? There wasn't a spell or enchantment to leave behind. Freya's presence is what mattered. His very godhood is what brought life back to this dying land. Eventually, he had to choose Vanaheim or Alfheim. Doesn't I mean... sound like a tough choice. Vanaheim was his home. Yeah, it it's was. It's never easy to walk away from those who need you. Like he'd want to go home, obviously, but I, I feel like it was also still a difficult decision. Oh, wait, I remember. I think we have to move the crystals for those things at the top. Ah, there's a crystal. Yeah. Monuments are useless. Why are you trying to fix this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's just for art, right? Like in museums. But I know how some artwork can have meaning behind them. Or, you know, they are a part of history. Kind of reminds me of Jose Rizal from the Philippines. He's our national hero. Womanizer issues aside, he did write. He was a writer. He wrote about the oppression that Filipinos um, experience with the Spaniards or Spanish. <gasps> Wait, I think we have to go back. So, and they were written in poem forms so that he wouldn't get caught. So that in itself is a work of art. Poems is literature. Literature is art, right? It's written art. <laughs> There's already light inside these crystals. You're right. Normally, we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. <laughs> really <wouldn't> say that. <laughs> such a such a dad, or such a dad pun. Witty dad, but in this case, he's a witty uncle. Anyway, wait, how do we do this? Because now we have to open that up. Can I jump? No, I cannot. Wait a minute. Well, first of all, I have to destroy that thing. Where's my axe? There we go. Nice. Okay. Alright, I think I know. I know what I have to do. I have to put this crystal back, get the crystal from the other side. Walk this pathway, put it on this side, and then I'll use this crystal to put it on... the right side. So, okay, fine. Us facing the statue, we have the left and the right side. So this one, I'm gonna put it on the left side. And the one that's underneath the light bridge, I'm gonna put it on the right side. There we go. I was able to describe that well in English, right? I was able to narrate that well. I'm practicing on how to give good narration while I play a game. No, I feel like I said something stupid a while ago, like a sperm sky. <laughs> it does, though. But honestly, it did look beautiful. I can see how they tried to not make it look like that. It's just that when you see the tail and when you see that little bead looking thing at the front. Okay, now we can get up here. 
See, if you don't see the shape, it kind of just looks like moving stars, though. It's beautiful. Ah, there we go. We're done! Nice. Whoa! What was that? Hey, come here. Hmm? That ring of crystal shard is glowing now. Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. Oh, okay. Let's read the inscription. That's what I want to do. In honor of the Enlightened One, may his gift of light shine eternal. Majestic. Okay, in honor of the Enlightened may his gift of light shine, may his light serve as a beacon of harmony, may peace endure among the elves, and as we forever bask in ah, its radiant glow. Gift of light. That was short lived, now was it? That didn't age well. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Ooh. Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? You are not funny. Presence! <laughs> presence and presence! Oh my goodness, that's so funny. <laughs> it was! I would Father, laugh at that joke. Do you think there will ever be peace in Alphonse? Peace is difficult after centuries of conflict. Mm. It must be found in its own time, from within. It cannot be forced. That's Mom helped true. you find peace, right? How are the elves supposed to change if no one shows them the way? I mean, Your that's... Mother, that's guidance, she trusted though. Me, gave she... me the space to find my mm. own way. But you are right, Atreus. She was my guide. Our actions in Alfheim may not bring peace. Mm. But by ending the storm and bringing light back to this land, perhaps we have planted the seeds. My goodness, I love that! Myself. Sounds like I'm rubbing off on you, brother. It is possible. Huh. <laughs> I thought he'd say, I thought he would grunt. I thought he'd do that. But I love how he said, you are right, Atreus. That's so, um, for me as a child, that's always been something that I long for to hear from one of my parents <laughs> but anyway this isn't about me this is about the game i really like how kratos <gasps> atreus's opinion i'm not sure to ask this and i think the key word is guide me. and not like force how he lost his eye where the details are different from stories you've told me and i trust you of course but they mm. don't seem like things you'd have a reason to lie about either one thing to remember about liars lad they lie mm. They do it on principle. No issue too big or too small. They lie about anything they can get away with and some things that they can't just to demonstrate their power over reality. Yes! You must always bear that in mind. Odin is a liar who lies. <laughs> His pants will be on fire <gasps> soon enough. <gasps> what if... Oh my goodness, that would be so funny if there's a scene where his pants get on fire. Oh wait, did we get it? Just by walk uh playing <laughs> through it? Well, the massive door we found earlier. Nice. That nice. door required two keys. Aye, so it did. Let's keep looking then. <gasps> Alright, it's probably gonna be one of the other <gasps> Crystals on the sand. Not this one though. <laughs> it was right next to it. I doubt. Yeah, it wasn't it. Oh my gosh. Ah! Ah! Do you ever notice the six hours talk talk guys, by the way? To his hammer? Oh, still doing that, is he? Hmm. Yeah. Is he like charming the steel or casting a spell or something? No. Just a weird bloke. <laughs> no, he's just weird.
second key. Ooh, nice. Sure enough. It's been a bit since we've unlocked a mysterious door. Excited lover. Mm. <laughs> Classic. Mm. That's what I was expecting him to say. When Mimir said that he was rubbing off on Kratos. Oh wait, I think we're here. This is it. This is it, fun sit. Mm. Mm. This is it, fun sit. Mm. Mm. I can make a rap about that. Oh, is there something here? No, there's nothing. Noise, noise. Okay. Let's get ready to rumble. Uh, father, there's something angry back there. Oh shit! Oh wow! Is that it, right? Attack, 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 let's go. That wasn't too bad, Enough right? Drake. Can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Kill Drake. Way, Don't kill Drake. <laughs> Shiny pretty things. Gravel belly. <gasps> and I love... We found this Drake in the deserts of Alfheim behind the door. I had been expecting treasure or a new area of the desert to explore, but it was instead met with a beast. The blue markings on his head were like nothing I had seen before. They could be considered beautiful for the creature. Oh yeah, that Kratos wrote this, right? It was a beautiful creature. It looked like a Triceratops. 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 Tri Sarah from the land of Tra Tra The land before time. Sarah from the land before time. Oh man, that was so fun. Okay. New legendary weapon. You have a favorite, father? No. They are tools for specific tasks. A preference would be meaningless. Yes. 
I too like the axe. <laughs> I feel like he loves the axe though, or he prefers the axe because Faye gave him the axe, right? Or it was Faye's weapon. I like the axe. Well, actually, I like the blades of the axe. 